This is a video explaining how to install and set up the XR Connect software that connects the XR Edit app from Behringer with the XR18 and the XTouch. <coughs> to um, set it up we first need to install a few libraries. We need to do it manually and therefore we want to use the terminal window. So to, um, to bring up the terminal window we use the keys command space and in the search bar we type terminal okay so the terminal windows window comes up here we need to install the libraries and we're using the command brew so we type brew install libnet which is the first of the two libraries. Okay, it's already installed on my system, so it will not install twice. Um, we do the same for the other library, which is the lib backup. And this one's all also already installed and there is no newer version. So I should mention that for this to work you need to be connected to the internet um, because the libraries are all there and they will get updated via the internet. After this is done um, we connect our uh, Mac to the XR18 and the XTouch um, and we can do the further setup of the program. Um, in the finder window you can look for the place where you downloaded the zip file in my case it's in downloads xr connect mac and there are all the files which are in the zip file um, <clears throat> okay now i need to install it so i will need to go manually to the directory downloads and then xr connect mac and we do this with the cd command cd downloads okay and cd xr connect mac so Okay, if we do the ls command, we see all the files which are the same, all the files here which are the same as the files here. Okay, uh, the install itself, um, we type in dot slash install and we're done. Now everything is uh, copied to the correct place so that the Mac can find it. Um, and now it's time to connect the XTouch. Um, if you have set up the XTouch with the slave address as in the Windows and the Raspberry Pi versions, then you will get the... Hold on. Let me make it a bit sharper you will get the no link so in the Mac version you need to make sure the XTouch and the XR18 are connected by themselves so we're gonna simply use the scan which is the last here we can see it hold on okay here it's hard to see but here is the scan, push the last rotary encoder, let it scan and it'll find it. Okay, <clears throat> now one more thing we, we have to um, know is the name of the port we are connected to on our Mac. Here it's the Ethernet port but it has an internal name. To find that uh, we use another command and the 
command is as follows network setup list all hardware ports okay like this and then we get the list of all the ports on this Mac, we're only interested in the Ethernet port because we are connected via the Ethernet cable and the port device name is EN0. We need to remember this. Okay, now we scroll back down. Okay, um, <clears throat> we also need to remember the IP addresses of the XR18 and the XTouch. That's the same as in the other versions. And once we have that all, we can start the XR Edit application. Connect it like this. And we are connected. Now, the terminal version is behind here, so we bring it up again. Okay. So now we're ready to um, um, start the software. It's called X Air Connect. So, okay, it's the first time we run it, so it will ask us a few questions. Um, the first one is the network port we used. So, we earlier found it was EN0, so we fill this in EN0. Then the IP address of the XR18 which is, in my case, uh, oh, that's correct. Okay, which is, sorry, which is this one. And then the same for the X-Touch. So we need a password. Okay, now we need to do the scaling. So we need to click on the first mute box, and we don't see it now because it's behind uh, the XR edit up but we need to press between those two arrows on the resize button okay so now we should be ready if we look at the terminal window it says okay ready to go happy mixing so now it is connected and when we press the EQ button the EQ comes up, and when we change the channel, it follows. So that's it for the setup. Hope everything's clear. Bye bye.